Something that might have passed you by recently is this unclip model by Cow Cow Brain, assuming I can pronounce that correctly, like it says on this Hugging Face site. It's a replication of the DALI 2 technique. If you're not familiar with DALI, OpenAI introduced DALI in January 2021 and DALI 2 a year after that. As you can see, it's a way to turn text into images. Well, how does this compare to stable diffusion? Even though we've only got this really basic interface, no negative prompts, samplers, things like that. Well, you'll see in a moment, but if you remember Crayon, Cray I, I on that one, um, I think it's a little bit like that with a text understanding, but it does output stable diffusion quality images. Very nice. I'm going to be showing you three different ways you can run this so even computer novices can get started in seconds. Okay, the first way I'm going to show you is the Hugging Face site. This is super easy, just needs a web browser. You don't have to install anything, you just type and go. The second way you can run this is via a mobile app. So you'll need a compatible device for that and to install and run the app. The third way you can run this is to run that Hugging Face app locally on your computer. So those are the three ways. But first, it is prompt time. I'm going to be using fairly simple prompts here as what we're looking for is how well it represents the text that I've input rather than creating some artistic masterpiece. For this first prompt, we've got a cat riding a bike. So let's generate the images there in that unclip and also I've got them here already in Stable Diffusion. So this is what a cat riding a bike looks like in Stable Diffusion. I'm doing the same sort of thing, generating six images. That's what the Hugging Face site does. We can take a quick look at these in detail there. They're not bad, they're not bad, I quite like them. They're uh, a bit double-headed there, but it, it is mostly a cat riding a bike. So there we've got the Stable Diffusion one, and how well has Unclip done? Well, it's still waiting, so let's come back in a second. There it is, pretty nice. Those are all sort of side views, whereas the Stable Diffusion had given sort of different views. We've got some side views, but we've got a front view and a front view. Those are all nice side views. It's given the cat's funny legs so it can reach the pedals there. I, I kind of prefer that one. We do still have some watermark things and little titles at the bottom though, so giving us similar issues as we get in Stable Diffusion. I think for that one, they both did quite well, although personally, I do prefer that unclipped version. The next prompt I'm gonna try here is a photo of an ice cream cone next to a pizza which is on fire. Let's compare those two. Here we have the Stable Diffusion version. That's Close. It's got the ice cream on fire rather than the pizza, but it is an ice cream next to a pizza. It's not bad. And the unclip version, um, interesting. I think that, verse, that first one there is very, very close indeed. Ice cream cone next to a pizza which is on fire. That has got it absolutely spot on. These are also fairly similar. I'm not sure that's a pizza, but it's certainly on fire. That's fairly close. That's, I'm not even sure what that is. That's two ice cream cones, I guess. But I think that's done a little bit better than Stable Diffusion. There's Stable Diffusion. None of those. I mean, it's got a little bit of fire in some of them. It's got the ice cream on fire. I think once again, I'm going to give that to Unclip. Let's try this next one then. An impressionist painting of a ninja kitten. We'll do that in Stable Diffusion 2 and see what these come out with. And here is Stable Diffusion's impressionist painting of a kitten. Uh, okay, it's added the words ninja kitten. I guess just adding the words makes the kitten into a ninja. That one seems to have some sort of thing coming out of its arm, but they don't really look like ninja kittens, any of those, do they? All right, let's have a look at Unclip, see well, how well that has done. Okay, I think we can see quite clearly here that Unclip has done much better, although that one's a little bit more like a pirate. We've definitely got some sort of katana action or something going on there. I think that's a much better representation of my text. Let's try a pencil art sketch of a dragon wearing a top hat. Again, I'll do that in both generators. Stable Diffusion seems to have done very well there. That one is nice. That's definitely a dragon wearing a top hat, although that one is a person. That one's, that one's passable, that one's passable, that one's passable. A bit too much hat there. It's it's done quite well. Okay, let's compare this with Unclip. Wow, okay, that's interesting. They all seem to have a sort of similar style, but they are definitely dragons wearing hats in each case. Again, I think I'm going to have to give that to Unclip. Okay, how about if we try mixing colours? Because things like Stable Diffusion get confused if you add more than one colour. So here's a matte portrait painting 
of a woman with blue eyes and fine rainbow coloured hair. How will it manage those two together? Stable Diffusion seems to have actually done quite well there. We have the blue eyes and the rainbow coloured hair. Although there's a bit of sort of makeup or something going on there. Not so much rainbow in these, but it is different colours. I think that's done quite well. Unclip gives us this, which is... I think it's better, actually. I think it's better because each of the hairs do indeed have that rainbow colour, which I requested, and all the eyes are blue. Let's give it the ultimate test here. A hand with five fingers. Here is Stable Diffusion's attempt. As you can see, it's close there. It's, it's, it's close. It's almost, it's almost a hand, but... Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at Unclip. Has it done any better? No, unfortunately not. It seems hands are still beyond the capabilities of even the most advanced artificial intelligences. However, I still think the Unclip model did a better job in most cases. What do you think? Do let me know in the comments. Now, onto the two other ways that you can run this, with the next being the mobile app. As you can see on the Hugging Face site, there is a link there for the Be Discover app. So if you go over there, there's the web page, Discover Your Fantasy in Images. I think that says fantasy. Uh, and there's a, a link there for the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. I've downloaded it to my mobile device. Let's take a quick look at this. As you can see, you get a slightly different interface altogether. You've got today's pick, and you can also scroll down a little bit and explore some of the other things which people have created. Now, if you want to make your own down in the bottom right, you can see that little plus icon. And if you click that, you've got two different ways that you can do prompts. As you can see in that top bit there, you can sort of pick some words and make it up yourself. So what am I dreaming of? I'm dreaming of a tomato. Um, what style do I want? Let's have a, a stained glass tomato. Where is it? Um, it's in the Grand Canyon because that's where tomatoes normally go. And I think it's twilight. And for twilight, I like a sort of really light color because that's daft. And there you go. You can click the little tick button and there it is. It will create your stained glass tomato in the Grand Canyon. Just takes a few seconds. There it is, my stained glass window with a tomato in the Grand Canyon. Looks pretty cool. Of course, you don't have to just click on those words. You can type down in the bottom there whatever you want. An amazing painting of a rodent wearing sunglasses. And there we have our amazing painting of rodents wearing sunglasses. I think those come out quite well, even without any of those negative prompts or samplers or all the tricks that we normally do. As you can see from the interface, you can also generate more or retype the prompt, but it is asking you to select one. So you can just select one, then you can add a template if you want to or not. I'm going to select no template there and done. And then it will give you the option to share or download it. So there's the app, nice and easy. Now, the final way is just to get this unclip hugging face model thing running on your own PC, and that is very easy. I am, of course, using Ubuntu 2004 with an NVIDIA 1390 and Anaconda. Here's my local Anaconda install. It's just these eight simple commands. So Conda create, whatever you want to call it. I'm using Python 3.10 there as well. Activate whatever you called your new environment. Git clone this hugging face space and CD into that new directory. Install Torch, install Gradio, install the requirements, and then run the app with pythonapp.py. Now, one thing to note is I did get an error with the CSS the first time I made it. So it I just made it shorter, and then it ran um, here, this bit here. So you got this CSS thing, and it was saying, oh, this is too, I'm trying to create a file, and this is too long. And I thought that's a bit weird. So I made it shorter. Then you get the Gradio interface, and you can run it on your own system. So just using your own GPU. Of course, you can do a lot more with Stable Diffusion, but even as it stands, I think this unclip model does very well. And in the worst case scenario, you can just use these images as inputs for your Stable Diffusion creations. Plus, if you're interested in more nerdy rodent geekery, then do click on this video.